Hi, my name is John Mooney, and I'm the educator here at Windsor Historical Society. Today, I want to talk to you about one of the most popular alcoholic beverages in early America, Madeira wine. Madeira wine is made on the Madeira Islands, owned by Portugal off the coast of Africa. They were a popular destination for ships bound for the New World during the 1700s. What many of the traders who were uh, carrying goods on these ships noticed is that wine was spoiling because of the variances in temperature and that they encountered while traveling across the ocean. So winemakers in Madeira found a solution to this problem by adding brandy to their wine to fortify it, which is what Madeira wine is. So what the traders found when they arrived in the colonies and began selling this wine is that the flavor of Madeira wine, fortified with brandy, was actually improved by the variances in temperature that were ruining traditional wines. The people of Madeira who made the wine eventually decided to start reproducing the temperature variances and time that the wine spent on the ships by just burying the wine in underground pits in Madeira, and then selling it about a year or more later on, making aged fortified wine. Madeira wine can still be purchased today. It isn't as popular as it used to be. In early American times, it was so popular that the founding fathers of our nation toasted to the Declaration of Independence and the Constitution with glasses of Madeira wine. You can still find it today, though, and it has a pretty good price to quality ratio because of its lack of popularity among the general public. So check it out for yourself. Thanks for watching.